good morning, fellow Toastmasters and uh, fellow Toastmasters. I hope you're all fine and doing well. So I'll be your ESA for today's meeting. And it's my job to notify that there are three golden rules that to be followed in every Toastmasters meeting. The first rule is please put your noise making devices in silent mode or switch off mode so that we'll have a good meeting experience. So let's do that in the next five seconds. Uh, the second one is please uh, refrain to talk about uh, the topics like sex, religion, and politics. And if you want to do so, please put it in a way such that no one will get offended. And the last rule is uh, for the people who are who join through online, please be mute when a speaker is speaking. And for the people who are in the hall, please uh, do not leave the hall when a speaker is speaking so that the speaker won't get disturbed. So coming to the theme, uh, connections, I know most of you heard or seen the famous quote in LinkedIn or any other, that is your network is your net worth, right? So uh, it's all about connections. Uh, I really made a very uh, good connections in online, which helped me a lot and which made me keep insane. So it's all about connecting connections and connecting with the right people. So with that being said, I'll hand it over to our presiding officer, Toastmaster Gopika. Thank you, Toastmaster Govan. Good morning, Toastmasters. And good morning. So let me first open meeting 163 themed connections. So first and foremost, let's go on to some announcement. So let us all congratulate Toastmaster Harsha for completing level one of his pathway motivational strategies. Now, another announcement is that the division contest is going to happen tomorrow. So anyone and everyone who is free and who wants to listen to speakers, please do log in and listen to the speakers and encourage everyone. It's our division contest. So let's all be there and encourage all the speakers and let's all get to, you know, like know better speakers and listen to great speeches. Okay. So that's it for the announcements part. Now, if you think about connections, now the first thing that comes to my mind is like when I joined MBA online, uh, I believe that when I joined MBA online, I would not make connections at all. Trust me, because everything is online, people are online. And at that point of time, it was very hard to talk to people, connect with people or mingle with people or make friends. And that's when I joined tab and coming into tab online and making such great connection has been one of the best part of being in Amrita. And I'm pretty sure you all feel the same way. Give me a raise of hands. You know, if you feel that tab is one of the best parts of Amrita. Yes. So with that being said, like I got to meet a lot of people who have a lot of potential, who are fun to be around with who you can learn from because of the kind of connections you meet. And it's not just in TAP, whether it's in your class, whether it's in Toastmasters, whether it's through LinkedIn, there's always a potential or there's always a possibility of meeting people who you can learn from. And that's the best part of making connections. And you also get to make good friends. So with that being said, let's see what our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Ganesh has in store for us with the theme connections. I declare today's meeting open. Over to Toastmaster Ganesh. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so when you heard the word connections, what's the first thing that came into your mind? Of, of course, but sorry to disappoint you, but it's not about LinkedIn. I don't want to go there because I don't have any, I'm not active on there and I won't get jobs because I don't have a proper resume to upload on there. So let's not talk about LinkedIn at all. 
when was the last time you had proper conversation with a friend offline beside you you had deep conversations emotionally or mentally <laughs> okay so everyone did have offline conversations who connected emotionally and mentally so before we move on to the meeting that was made possible right now without using our phones like govin said we can put our phones on silent and we can't use our phones just to listen to the speaker that was made possible because of ralph t smedley who is the founder of toastmaster international and he founded toastmaster international on 22nd october 1945 right 24 sorry it's hard to remember the dates i'm so sorry and there are over 16600 clubs present right now worldwide and like i said it's been possible to connect emotionally and physically offline because of these meetings and before we move on i'd like to call our uh, general evaluator who is a fitness freak a topper this is the same introduction i'll give un until you give a proper introduction <laughs> uh over to tosmas and niharika the general evaluator of the day good morning fellow tosmasters and my dear guests we all need improvement in our life isn't it not only life we need improvement in our communication skills and everything so i am here to help you with that as a general evaluator for today's meeting i alone can't do this so i have a great connection of three people who are going to help me with this my first connection will be timer our timer for today is toastmaster mahidar he is a newbie to tab and this is the second role he is taking he is a 20 year old soul who like to chill all the time worrying about nothing currently obsessed with the music over to you toastmaster mahidar Uh, time is what that uh, makes everything perfect, right? That's what I believe. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. This is Mahida Sai, and I'll be the timer for the today's meeting. And the role of a timer is to note down the length of our speeches and to report it at the end of the meeting. And in in every tab meeting, we'll be having three segments. The first segment is prepared speeches, as you know, and it will be around five to seven minutes. So I'll be showing a green card at. Five minutes, and I'll be showing red, uh, yellow card at six minutes, and I'll be showing a red at seven minutes, and you'll be having a thirty seconds of buffer time. And today we have a special speech uh, that is from Vinodna, and it will be having. Uh, we, I'll be showing a green card at eleven minutes, and yellow card at thirteen minutes, and red card at fifteen minutes, and she'll be having a buffer time of thirty seconds. And coming to the second segment, that is table topic session. Every speaker will be having one to two minutes, and the I'll be showing a green card at one minute, and yellow at. One minute thirty seconds and red card at two minutes. Two minutes and the third segment will be uh, speech evaluation and it will be having uh, it will be around uh, two to three minutes and it will be having I'll be showing a green card at two minutes and yellow at two minutes thirty seconds and red card at thirty. So every speech will be having thirty seconds of buffer. So please uh, uh, complete your speeches according to that. Then. Thank you. that was the detailed introduction of the role of timer thank you toastmaster mahidar for introducing your role next i have second person in my network that is accounter accounter for the day is toastmaster harsha he is a night owl and he is a simple guy who loves smile and make people smile a tennis freak ever ready to speak over to you toastmaster harsha Thank you for the evergreen introduction, Toastmaster Niharika. A very good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Thank you so much. Well, coming to the role of accounter, I've always wondered what's the soul of being a speaker. Well, when I joined Toastmasters, I realized that being a Toastmaster involves a major part of being a speaker, and being a speaker is about connecting with the people in front of you. So when you're connecting with people, i would want to say this thing to someone you are very nice 
well in between if i go and say you are very nice so the tone the pace and the way you use the crpfs matters a lot every time you see a sentence on the stage every moment you take a pause it's like a weapon it matters a lot so at this point of time when you're on the stage make sure that these crpfs won't affect your speech well let me come to the point where i'm explaining the crpfs first is the crutch words where i would go saying um and like so but and a lot of things and coming to the repetitive words it can be anything right now i already said well for almost four times that's my repetitive word so that's about repetition and the third part is the pauses as i said pauses are like weapons you can use it wherever you want if i say let's go to the meeting it sounds so rubbish so let's go to the meeting that's how you do you get it done so when you use pauses make sure that you use them the right way and the last one are the filler words that are very famous uh um, er, we do a lot of things on the stage like this so these are the crpfs and make sure that you keep them in check when you're on the stage thank you so much over to you toastmaster niharika thank you that for that wonderful introduction toastmaster harsha next i have third person in my network that is grammarian our grammarian for the day is a cat lover she says that she connect with the people who watch the same series and she do it because 75% of the time the references she make is from things she binge also she connect with the people who tell stories over to you toastmaster durga thank you toastmaster niharika am i audible yes you are thank you uh, so basically a grammarian what a grammarian does is three main things one they look at the good usages that you do in a uh, you know a speech or a whatever you present on stage they look for the good usages two to point out the notes of good usages that you use and give corrections three a grammarian gives the word of the day and the idiom of the day so now that you know the first two reasons why a grammarian is present in the meeting let me go to the word of the day and idiom of the day the word of the day is amity which means friendly relations and the idiom of the day is build bridges which is to improve relation between people who differ significantly from one another so somebody who is not very similar to you but you build strong or good relation for example you can say a local charity organization is working to build bridges between different ethnic groups in the city so that is one way you can use it i look forward to hearing what of the day and idiom of the day throughout the meeting back to our general evaluator those must be harika thank you toastmaster durga for introducing your role that's it from my side and my tag team i'll be back with my report as soon as like toastmaster ganesh call me over to you toastmaster ganesh so thank you so much for that amazing introduction of your tag team toastmaster niharika so like i said my life changed because of a few incidents and i realized how important deep conversations are <laughs> so the incident is my sim card stopped working if my sim card stopped working my phone doesn't work i can't call people i can't use whatsapp and i even don't have money because phone pay or gpay doesn't work so before i move on to the story on what happened those few days i'd like to explain what toastmasters meeting is uh, like so there are three segments to a toastmasters meeting first is prepared speeches second is table topics and third is evaluation in prepared speeches a speaker comes prepared with a specific a speech and gives it on the stage second is table topics the table topic master will give a few topics that any volunteer can attempt for one to two minutes it's impromptu and third is evaluation 
we all need improvement right like tosmas and niharika said we all will be evaluated and we uh, improvements will be given to us uh, on whatever we speak on the stage so let's move on to the first segment of the meeting prepared speeches so before i call on the first speaker of the day i'd like to call on the speech evaluator our sweet and yet scary president was master gopika please read out the objectives of the first speaker thank you toastmaster ganesh for saying that so toastmaster vinutna will be attempting her l4p2 in the pathway innovative planning and the project is managing a difficult audience so the purpose of this project is for the member to practice the skills needed to address audience challenges when he or she presents outside of a toastmaster club now in this the time is going to be 10 to 15 minutes time up please take a note the timing is 10 to 15 minutes all the best toastmaster niharika over to you toastmaster ganesh thank you so much toastmaster gopika so i'd like to call our first speaker of the day who is the only person who is about my height so my height buddy please come on to the stage toastmaster vinutna toastmaster vinutna rewind rewind toastmaster vinutna thank you so much toastmaster ganesh <laughs> good morning guys oh so much of energy so yeah let me elevate it a bit with my sort of questions okay so have you ever felt these things which i say now how many of you felt you want to jump in the past scenes of your life and just stay there looking at your favorite scenes in front of you how many of you felt like sm smelling the aroma of your favorite food that's been prepared by your mother or grandmother and you clutching their pallu for making the curry to get prepared faster how many of you have taken the back step before confessing your feelings for someone how many of you have been carrying the guilt of not saying teeny tiny words like sorry thank you see here it goes you know have you ever felt that you can correct all these things just having the chitpusa button in our life that could set everything back you could go past say everything set right now have you ever felt like doing that thing here comes rewind rewind the teeny tap which we do on the mobile screens or tab screens that could get to see your favorite scenes of the video or else the scenes that you missed the contact or the scenes that you you know uh, were a little late in catching up so have you ever felt this button in your life is going to make our lives much more easier right so what what's your perspective with respect to the rewind what do you think is actually pulling us back for having those rewind incidents can i tell you something which people will not accept but still it's a truth we people i mean the human beings they dream a lot right and what do you actually think is giving us this pain of thought of getting rewind button i personally feel that being extremely fearful or completely fearless are the two extremities which in clutching us for this point of rewind okay let me put it out how many of you put off the things only with the reason of being so lazy if you are lazy doesn't that imply you have no fear of completing that work sometimes right <laughs> so here comes the second one how many of you have taken the back step with the fear only because of fear see here comes the count again in this way these extremities of being extremely fearful or fearless is getting that part of rewind in your life so getting back to the question what do you think what are the major things that are pulling you back or making you to get the clutch with the rewind first thing memories second thing mistakes memories are the very beautiful ones which 
you know, which we can uh, completely not preserve, but we have many other sophisticated things just to take the snaps and preserve for the future. Like, see, for example, last week was Kalanjali, was a completely highlight set. Nice. We have taken n number of photos complete so that our memory got completely full in the mobiles. But how many of you have actually taken each and every minute in completely living yourself lively way in the Kalanjali? The count goes really less. So no matter how sophisticated DSLR camera you get, take the shots and preserve it for the future. If you don't take memories, if you don't have fun of those particular times, it's no matter. Those photos will just remain as, you know, how to how, check how your personality was, how your color was back then. That's it. So instead of having all these photographs, let's just add those memories, having fun and having chill. I'm not going anti towards all the uh, photo lovers or something, but I'm also saying that let's take a moment to live the moment, not just take them and grab them. And here comes the second thing, mistakes. We know many a times we make n number of mistakes, but still we struggle a lot to admit them, right? So it can be the tiny word of sorry. It can be the minute thank you, which we always fail. Or else it can even be the mistake that you have done that's not being notified to others, but still you have the inner glitch in you that's completely poking you, piercing you so hard and you are bleeding so hard. Just take a moment. You may not have guts or you know, uh, 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 no, that daring to go straight forward to the person and say, sorry, or else completely thank you. But just take a minute in your life Close your eyes, imagine the person right in front of you and say, sorry. Okay, have you ever done this thing? Oh, see, uh, life, you will be seeing many people. Do you think that you, you have done at least one mistake with respect to each and every person? Don't you think? At least pi out of three? Pi out of three? Okay, okay, let me put forward some examples. How many of you have stolen at least one rupee or two rupee from your papa's pocket? How many have stolen sweets from your mama's, uh, you know, laduka uh, jar or something? How many of you have taunted your or booked your brother in front of your parents? How many of you have really booked your friend in the examination hall? How many of you have given hand to your friend when you have already promised him that I would help you in the, that you would help them in the examination? So in this instance, you could really go in front of them and say, thank you or sorry, not right. But at times it happens. So here comes the count Harsha of these thank yous and sorries. So getting back to our thing, mistakes. Let's take a minute and completely confess our thank yous or sorries. It's not for, it's not with the reason that we need to have that cool or peace in between them, just to have peace within yourself. And now, if you ask me to what part of memories that you want to jump in your life, I say the times when I used to wake up with the fear of where I'm going to miss my bus, the days where my lunchbox is not just mine, the days. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Dinesh. But yeah, let's take this time after the speech, not right now, but still, thank you. Just yet two more, just yet more to come, okay? Yeah. Those days where my lunchbox isn't just mine, the times where my teachers were not just teachers, not just facilitators, but also the parents, the times when my school was the home, the times where we used to get assembled but one single bell, the times where the amity was infinity. In this way, these school days have been very, very, very memorable in my life. I think the same happened with you, right? Even you people have those uh, memorable scenes and where you want to just go and sit over there and be, rewind that entire video once again and again and again. And in the memories, the very second part I would like to mention is my batch, I mean, my buddy trips where I had infinite fun, infinite bonding, infinite emotional exchange. So these are the two scenarios in my case of memories. Coming to the mistakes, yes. 
I really accept it. I need to mention my apologies and also my grat uh, gratefulness for n number of people. On this occasion of note, I really would like to say this word of thank you to n number of people that whom I couldn't say and sorry for all the people who I missed to say sorry then. So guys, let me put it out this question for you people all. Toastmaster. No, uh, if the matter of confession comes, no, I never felt like going and confessing to someone. Those must have gone. Okay, if you bring BTSP, I'm right now, I'm right, uh, trying to confess him. <laughs> so, yeah. Those must have gone. Is everything fine? You heard a knock. So, could you please just sit in your uh, seat? Okay, let's ignore the door knock. Let's see later. Fine. Good. So yeah, so let me put it out for you people. How many of you, you said that uh, you thought of uh, taking the opportunity of saying thanks or sorry to someone, right? So would like to take an opportunity to thank or say sorry to someone? <laughs> would anyone of you like to take this opportunity to thank or say sorry to anyone? Yes. I would like to thank my mentor, Toastmaster Gopika, always following me up. And, and I would like to really thank Toastmaster Vinutna for making me whom I am right now. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Niharika. And you're coming to my feedback. I'll give it to you later after the meeting. So yeah, this is all of it. This rewind and this entire thing. So what if you ask me, what, why, why you got this idea of taking this rewind part and why do you want to just invest? Last time I got this call, uh, last two, not last night, two days ago, one fine night, I got this call from my friend saying, Winnie, I miss, I miss my school days. And though you don't remember, I, I, uh, I don't even know the call went for two and a half hours. In this way, this by after the call, just I thought I sat in my room and then I thought to myself, why, why are days turning this much so that once I, ca I can't even call my very own friend and can't even win a nice tune. But yeah, I'm so sure that I'll provide you an opportunity to come over here and sing, but right after my meeting. I know you people are waiting to have that rewind button in your hand so that you could just escape my speech, but it's high time, yeah. <laughs> so in this way, this in this way, when the uh, when my friend called me, I was completely shattered. Like, why he one of they were one of my close friends, but why I'm not finding a particular time or certain time to speak to them. Or else, is it really that people will just get connection with, the, uh, with those who are in life between them? You think so? Or else, is it the other way, even if they are online or some distance away, the bond can even be maintained? See, it's all the matter of priorities and how you get scheduled, how you give schedule to your own things. So instead of crying over this part of having a rewind button in our life, let's do something. I mean, particularly two things. First thing, let's not just take memories, but let's make them. Second thing, just say, feel like confessing, confess. Feel like saying sorry, say sorry. Thanking someone, just thank them. If you really feel like you wanna go out with someone, just go ask, make your life cheerful. It's pretty much better than having the burden of sack back of you. This is it from my side. Thanks for being good set of audience. Thank you. Thank you so much for that wonderful speech, Toastmaster Vinutna. And let me just say two things. After your speech, we made memories. Second is thank you again for that wonderful speech. And your speech was really relatable to me because I keep on saying thank you and sorry to anyone and everyone, even though I don't do anything wrong. <laughs> 
So just moving on with our meeting, I'd like to call our second speaker of the day. And before I call our second speaker of the day, I'd like to call a speech evaluator who is my favorite dancer and I'd call an expression king, Toastmaster Vinay to read out the speech objectives. Good morning, Toastmasters. Uh, no guess. Uh, so good morning, Toastmasters. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, today, Malika is going to deliver her speech, uh, L1P2 speech on presentation mastery. Uh, the purpose of the project is to learn or review basic methods for writing a speech with a, with a different purpose and to present a well organized speech on any topic. Okay, all the best, Malika. Uh, I request everyone uh, to give a thumbs up when, whenever she uses word of the day or, the, or in the idiom of the day. And timer, the speech is from five to seven minutes, so please note it. Okay, all the best. I'll give my report at the end of the meeting. Over to you guys. Um, thank you, Toastmaster Vinay, for the introduction. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. Before starting my speech today, I would like to wish a uh, welcome, welcome, to welcome, all welcome. the people uh, one present second, here. One second. I need to introduce your title. Okay. So, Toastmaster Malika, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Toastmaster Malika. Over to you. <laughs> thank you, Toastmaster Ganesh. So, yeah, before starting my speech, I would like to wish greetings to all the people present here. And it's a pleasure for me to deliver a speech about life. So before starting off my speech, I just want some of you to volunteer and tell what is life to you. Can I have some volunteers, please? What do you know? Life is a set of experiences. Okay. Can I have another volunteer? I think life is about, <laughs> it's really not about being in the fictional world. It's taking to the reality and reality sucks. Okay. Does anyone like to pitch in? Yeah, I think life is just being yourself. Okay, nice. Anyone? No, I... So life, life is uh, the word, it contains only four alphabets, but no one can assess its vastness in reality. In fact, even most of the scientists don't know what life is. Every human has a different life story and different perspective towards what life is. Some of us experience a lot of good happenings in life where other ones have exactly the same, exactly the opposite. There was the same situation in my life where I was going through the phase where just things were going, I just wanted to go the things in one way, but it just turned out to, to be totally opposite. I was pissed off, annoyed and just think, why, why the life is happening to me like this? And then I just, uh, I mean, it was during the lockdown. So I just went to my mom and just described her that these were the things happening in my life. I'm just uh, thinking of these things to happen in a certain way, but it's just turning out the uh, opposite. And just she told me one thing which I remember now, better just think. We have different situations in life, but it's just the way you take it in. And she even shared a story with me, which I would like uh, to share with you all. So there was um, uh, a chef and a daughter. So the daughter has, um, once upon a time, she has a daughter. And the daughter just explained to her father, just like uh, the way I explained to my mom, that the, her life was miserable and that she did not know how she was going to make it. Then she was tired of fighting and struggling all the time. It seemed just, just as one problem was solved, other, soon, other ones soon followed. As I told you before, that his father was a, uh, her father was a uh, chef, and then he took her to the kitchen. He filled three pots with water and placed each on the fire. Once the three pots began to boil, he placed potatoes in one pot, eggs in the second pot, and ground coffee beans in the third pot. He then let them sit and boil. He didn't even say a word to his daughter. The daughter, in the meantime, she mourned and impatiently waited. 
wondering what my dad was doing. Why did he tell me potatoes, uh, cooking potatoes in one thing, eggs in the other, and coffee beans in the other thing? She waited like that for 20 minutes. And then her dad just turned off the burners. He told her to the, take the potatoes out of the pot and place them in a boil. In the same way, the eggs, and uh, he laddered the coffee out and placed it in a cup. And then he turned to her and told, daughter, what do you see? Then she answered, potatoes, egg, and coffee, dad. And then he told, look closer and observe. Just touch the potatoes and tell what you, how you feel. And then she told that it's soft, dad. Then again, he told uh, her to take the, take an egg and break it. Then she did the way how his dad, uh, how her dad instructed. And finally, he asked her to sip the coffee. It, it has a rich aroma and uh, it was tasty. And then the father told, what does this mean to you? And then he explained that the potatoes, the eggs and the coffee beans had each faced the same adversity, which is the boiling water. However, each one reacted differently. The potato went in strong, hard and unrelenting, but in boiling water, it became soft and weak. The egg, which was fragile, has turned into a hard substance now. And the coffee beans, which exposed to the boiling water and they changed the water and created something new, which is coffee. So what we can infer from this story? Then he told that in life, the things happen around us, things happen to us, but the only thing that truly really matters is how you choose to react to it and what you make out of it. Life is all about leaning, adapting, and converting all the struggles that we experience into something positive. And life is coming to life is along with the struggles, life is also beautiful. And as I told, that it's not always easy. Uh, it has problems and the challenges lies in facing them with courage, letting the beauty of life act like a balm, which, which uh, makes the pain bearable during our uh, tough times by providing some hope. Happiness and sorrow, everything are like the two sides of the same coin. And in the same way, life is full moments of uh, joy, pleasure, success, and uh, etc., which is punctuated by misery and problems. I'm sure that there's no human being on the earth who is strong, powerful, maybe wise or rich, who has not experienced any struggle, suffering or failure. Uh, no doubt life is very beautiful and every moment is the celebration of being alive. But one should always be ready to face the adversities and challenges. I think that a person who has not encountered difficulties in life can never achieve success. Difficulties test our courage, patience, and the true character of a human being. There's no doubt that there can be no gain without pain. It is only when one toils and sweats it out that success is nourished and sustained. This life is and shouldn't be just a bed of roses. Thorns are also a part of it and should be accepted by us just as we accept the beautiful side of the life. The thorns remind me one of how success and happiness can be evasive and thus not to feel just disappointed and disheartened. Rather remember that the pain of thorns is short-lived and the beauty of life would soon overcome the prick of thorns. For example, you can take the example of a student who burns the midnight oil, makes sacrifices and resists temptation so that he can perform well in the exam. Similarly, a successive executive has to face the ups and downs of the life, not forgetting that life is a mix of success and failure. If he loses hope during the difficult time, he would not achieve success and would be replaced by others. Even the strongest kings and emperors which we have in our history have had the cup of fools. So life has not been a better process for them. To sum up, life is beautiful just as roses, but it has challenges which are like thorns and have to be faced and overcome by all. 
those who accept these challenges and succeed are the ones who know how to live life in its true sense so thus just uh, bridge the bridge the connections with the people and just enjoy their life but also be prepared to bear the pricks of the pain so i just uh, like to end it up by telling the quote that life isn't just about finding yourself life is about creating yourself thank you what a wonderful speech toastmaster malika and i'm sure it's relatable to each one of us everyone is going through ups and downs but it depends on how we react to our life and how we create ourselves through these adversaries so moving on with the meeting sim card coming back to the sim card so my sim card is still invalid it doesn't work so when i told my friends it doesn't work every other person gives the same advice hey switch it off and on ra it will work again like i didn't do it and another person comes and tells me put it in sim slot 2 no it will work it's like their full time engineers who are working in an amazing company and they're creating sims they they'll give nice advices so i did everything possible and it wasn't working after that i took my sim card i put it in another phone and the sim card started working i don't know how i took another sim card put it in my phone sim slot that sim card is also working but if i put mine in my phone it's not working i took it to the store and uh, he went through the settings he did something for 10 minutes i don't know what he did in the end he didn't fix it of course um, after that he just told me the sim slot there's no problem the sim is the problem apparently and he told me to change the number itself not even the sim he told me to change the number and i went to another mobile store and it says accessories and services he he told me he doesn't do services he won't even check the phone so the next that day i went to the pg and uh, thought i'll go to the atel shop but it started raining and that happened for the next four days so before moving on to the complete story i'd like to go on to the table topic session and i'd like to call the table topic master who is a part time overthinker and a full time engineer <laughs> Toast master Dinesh, over to you. Thank you, Toast master Ganesh, and good morning, fellow Toast masters and guests. So, before anything, general evaluator Niharika, I'd like to give you the honor of writing the word of the day and idiom of the day on the whiteboard, please. Oh, that's there. my bad okay once again good morning everyone well we all in the exam season and some of us completed their degrees as well and uh, second years are currently attempting their midterm exam so we all must have been in this situation when our parents asked us how much how many marks did you get and then obviously the next question is how did you get the marks you got and we are supposed to come up with a excuse with which is a fool proof one to escape from the situation correct right now for any normal person it is a tough nut to crack but thanks to toast masters and your table topics master here i am providing you an opportunity to hone your impromptu skills now to help the timer please keep your table topic attempt under 1 to 2 minutes now to help our accounter try to attempt the table topic in a slow pace manner form everything in your mind and speak so that you you will get the less count of us now to help the grammarian there's idiom of the day and word of the day on the white board go through them and include them in your table topic attempt now who's going to be my first volunteer <laughs> go pick up you can those master go pick up what's your parents reaction if your monthly bank statement says you have spent 20 20000 rupees in this month over to you
Toastmaster Dinesh, I think the answer is very simple. It's going to be the same question for everyone. Are you employed? No. Are you paying for it? No. I am paying for it. And you have the audacity to make me pay 20,000. For what purpose? For that cute little top you saw in H&M. Or that sneakers that you want from Nike. Whatever it is, I'm not going to do that for you. And it's going to be the same everywhere. Now, recently, I did a small accident. It's an accident. It's a genuine mistake. So what happened is I went to the salon. Okay. I went to get a haircut. Now, this might sound bad, but let's go with it. So uh, what happened is I went to the salon. Now I'm having hair fall. So I wanted to get a treatment done. So I asked them, okay, what is the rate for treatment? And they said it's around uh, six to 10 K. Okay. Somewhere around that. And I went to Tony and guy. So they were like, okay, ma'am, we'll give you a haircut. And I was like, okay, I want to do certain, certain other things also. So in between, I accidentally slept off in the salon because the guy was so good at massaging and I did not know. And I ended up getting a bill of around 15 to 20 K somewhere around that. Okay. Now don't judge me. Okay. Don't judge me. It is an accident. So they accidentally charged me for things I did not do. And I, I, I did not know that at that point of time. So I came home, I used my mom's credit card and my brother saw the bill and he came over to my room and he said, Gopika, you went to the salon. You did not go somewhere else, right? Are, are you sure? Did you go drinking? I'm like, no, I went to the salon only. You took so much ass and yet you came with such a big bill. So I think my parents were chill the first time around. Maybe next time they won't be. So that's my response. If my parents say that. Thank you. Dosmasadish. Yeah, that was the reaction of almost everyone. Yeah. Hi, Vishnu. Good morning. We are in our table topic session. So who's going to buy me second? I see Hasha raised his hand before. Come on. Toastmaster Hasha, convince your comfort zone friend to take BMTC. Over to you. <laughs> Well, there is this friend of mine who would always want to go on scooty, who would always want to take a cab and never take a bus. I told him, bro, take a share auto. It costs you only 10 rupees. And he said, it's a share auto. Should I have to sit with eight people in the auto? Sometimes I'll have to stand. Man, come on, that's not going to happen. Okay. Then you can take a bus, BMTC. And my friend said, it's a bus. It'll take a lot of time and you'll have to become a superman sometimes. You have to board the bus by running and sometimes you'll have to jump from the bus. A lot of these things might happen when you're on bus. So I don't want to take a bus. Take an auto. Auto costs as much as cab on Ola, Uber, Rapid, whatever it is. So why take auto, take a cab? This comfort friend zone is so sophisticated that he doesn't have money, but he still wants to go in cab and scooty, but he doesn't have money for petrol. That friend is Harsha. That idiot doesn't know that he has having 212 rupees in his bank account and he still wants to go on scooty by purchasing a lot of petrol for the scooty. And he's in debt. He doesn't know that. Harsha. If you are hearing this, trust me, BMTC is better. I hope you understand that the 212 is seeking out for badam milk 
it's seeking out for paneer dosa and it's seeking out for a lot other things so next time when you're on the road remember to take a bmtc i hope you understand it's not you it's me what do you do master dinesh just for your information it is not 212 it is 500 eb and it starts from our college and goes till kormangala just for your information and i'm really glad that you got you understood the value of bmtc and i hope you will join me in the next time when I, when we are going outside <laughs> who is going to be my next volunteer i'm going come on Toastmaster Govin, what's your opinion on people getting relationships? Is it good or bad? Over to you. Uh, what I feel is uh, you have an, you have uh, asked the wrong person. That I mean, <laughs> I was I was this person who. Desperately want to go in a relationship, but it's not going to happen. Uh, I have to accept it. But uh, I have this. I have known this person who have went into relationship, but has gone through a rough phase for two years. But <laughs> but uh, in the end, he said this word uh, that is he was uh, happy and he got realized what he has missed, and I'm really happy for that. But uh what i feel about relationship is uh there will be a person to whom you can share with everything and that's a good thing to have like that a person and i don't feel like you want uh, if you want to talk something else you just want to go in a relationship but you can also have a friend and so if you desperately want to go you can go <laughs> it's up to you and that's it from my side over that's not in it No wonder you are single, Govin. And it's not me; it's life always been that it chooses always the wrong person. So, I'm teaching you life, basically. Who is going to be my next volunteer? Just a minute. Those master Mahidhar. your friend is being irresponsible when you need him how do you confront him over to you okay basically i don't know how to answer this question because here i am the guy who is being irresponsible and i have been feeling the same uh, since so many days uh, since I, i met a person called i don't want to mention his name <laughs> but you all know who it is and the day i met him i really know how he, how irresponsible he was i thought he was the most irresponsible person and how do i convince him bro get some responsibilities uh, actually want to say this thing but the thing is even now i am not having any responsibilities on and so the only thing you have to do is uh, get successful is what everyone say right so to get uh, successful you should be working hard and you should be uh, what you should be uh, setting a goal and you should be working on it but i don't know how to say this because i am the person who is being more irresponsible than him so i just really can't how to can this yeah you asked the wrong person i guess <laughs> i asked the different topic but it's okay <laughs> toastmaster vishnu it is the question i already asked you in the real outside of outside of the meeting but yeah i'll ask you again do you like to hire an auto or a cab what do you prefer over to you toastmaster vishnu
I'm glad that you asked this question. We already discussed this while we are go going to the meeting in the auto. You said that during the traveling in the auto, you will get more attached with the nature. The fresh air and the fresh oxygen will be more and more. But the problem here is the money. Yeah, everyone knows the auto is very cheap compared to the cab. But compared, but while coming to me, both auto and cab was useless. By walk is the best solution <laughs> because we can go in any direction, anywhere, any place with our own footsteps, and it's an exercise. If given a bicycle, I will go to any place during the outings to the bicycle. It's the best option in the Bangalore in my way because, but I don't know because I didn't went many times outing with bicycle or some other places, and. Yeah, traveling. I I spoke about the car, auto, as well as by walk and cycle. But coming to the bus, bus is the better option because our theme named connections will improve. Just I wanna just say an example. Like I met a person through while traveling through the bus. I interacted with him much and more. Like I whenever I was traveling through the bus. In my Hyderabad, in my inter days, I will get meet new and new people, and I will get interacted to me, each other, and I will get to know their mindset, and it would be different from my mindset, and that's the thing which we could get connections, like we can also get connect together with them and do something related to each other. That's it from my side. I'm really glad that people are improvising the topics. It's like I don't want your topic. That doesn't work for me. I'll I'll attempt what I want. <laughs> nice, good that, good that you are doing. And who's going to be my next volunteer? When was the last time you had a deep conversation with your Amity person? Over to you, Toastmaster Vinay. Uh, like I, I know a person uh, who is Amity with his uh, neighbors, and also he likes building bridges uh, with every people, <laughs> with uh, every new person he meets. Uh, I think uh, during lockdown, uh, while I was uh, so free, like bored, I call him. <laughs> I call him like it's it. It has been uh, so long that I talked, I spoke to him. So I called him and I started speaking to him. Like, <laughs> how is your relationship? <laughs> how are the people in Bitcoin? <laughs> he was like, bro, that's. Uh, he was like, bro, that's completed, bro. Like, uh, we broke up, and I was, bro, what happened? He's like, let's not, not, not talk about it. Uh, no, let's talk it, talk about it later. Uh, during this conversation, he told that, bro, why don't you join tab, bro? It will be nice, bro. They will see you, bro. <laughs> also, uh, like, we spoke uh, for three hours, three hours, fifty-three minutes, I think so. <laughs> And it went, it, it went on. I shared a lot of experiences with him. Like uh, uh, during those days, I recently attended a marriage. <laughs> during that marriage, I shared, I shared with him that what kind of food I had, what, <laughs> what kind of uh, like dress I wore, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think that's the last meeting. Like I spoke. Thanks for not improvising the topic, Toastmaster Vinay, and good attempt. Good to know that. Uh, Who is going to be my name? Uh, guess uh, seven percent. You can come on. Do you prefer texting or call? Over to you. 
obviously i prefer texting because in the calls i won't feel i can't uh, speak much in calls with native language so while texting I, i can improve my language so i prefer texting and in calls i used to call only to the parents like i can express my feelings in my native language with my parents while in texting i can improve a lot yeah that's thank you trust me when i say this texting messes up relationships so my suggestion is don't go for texting even if you have to text just call them up you will build relationships yeah i have one last topic who uh, toastmaster ganesh toastmaster ganesh what are the significant changes that you observed in yourself online over offline over to you so a few significant change one major significant change is my weight after i went offline i ate so much i never exercised i stayed within those four walls of my room and i just opened my laptop 24 by 7 in front of my laptop i gained 23 kgs over 2 years thank thanks a lot i mean that's that's good encouragement i'm getting so another significant change is i started talking to people not over text don't 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 talk about texting and whatsapp but in person talking i started talking to people interacting with people because online it was really hard it, it felt like depression like i mean a toast to a table topping master knows what depression is so uh, so it felt like depression <laughs> uh talking to people i mean it was really hard because uh, um we were within four walls and nobody used to interact with us and corona was another hard phase for us where we had to isolate ourselves so after coming offline i interacting with people was such a bliss because i wanted to share my experience over the two years how i felt and some of my really hard phases with a lot of people and i'm glad i could and i still will so thanks a lot for that and that's it from my side over to toshmaster dinesh i really wonder why you didn't attempt my call two days back three days back four days back two weeks back and still you are <laughs> you attempted this topic huh sure <laughs> that brings us to the end of the table topic session to point out, to hand uh, before handing over to to m modi what taking up the role of the table topic master you can ask whatever you want to the people and how uh, many queries like you have you might have many questions that you want to ask to different people but you never get the chance this is the role you can ask those questions you will get a, you will get a stage and you will get the people as well so that's it from my side that was an amazing table topic session and over to you toastmaster ganesh thank you so much for that wonderful session toastmaster ganesh the topics were awfully very targeted to each and every person and you did an amazing job as a table topic master it was very entertaining for us in the end uh, if you all agree with me let's give a table topic to toastmaster dinesh at the end of the meeting yeah. many <laughs> okay <laughs> so moving on with the meeting so 
after i tried to fix my sim card over the past few days i the classes were going on and i didn't have my phone everyone had their phones we were sitting in class we were trying to fix a really messed up thing that happened we went to a place a restaurant 41 people went and the bill got messed up and a person experienced how it was uh, the, there was a lot of uh, pending money that had to be sent to a person so while we were trying to figure out everything everyone were on their phones i was just sitting there looking at people's faces and them looking at their fo- phones it it was really depressing uh <laughs> and um, i was at the canteen people were looking at their phones i was just sitting there looking at people's faces and then i realized how important it is to have proper conversations until and un- until i lost my phone i didn't realize how much we were actually getting disconnected when we were sitting beside each other we were just constantly browsing through our phones but we were never talking so one thing i'd like to say is when you're meeting up with a friend try to put your phone on silent mode put put your phone upside down so that you don't get distracted by the notifications or calls and try to call i have try to talk to them and try to interact with them try to have good conversations with them and that's the thing that i realized while having my phone broken moving on with the meeting let's go to the evaluation part i'd like to call the general evaluator to usma sir niharika to give her evaluation hello everyone i'm back with my report before getting into my report i would like to call speech evaluator one toastmaster gopika to evaluate toastmaster vinodna speech thank you so much toastmaster niharika toastmaster vinodna so one thing that's very hard for anyone while giving a speech is responding to distractions right when you have an audience who's not willing to listen to you who makes fun of you who will interrupt you and who are very much distracted it's very hard for the speaker to keep speaking or to feel confident to even say anything so first i want to congratulate you toastmaster vinodna you did an amazing job you had a lot of distractions but you were able to manage through and sail through all of them so congratulations on that i loved how toastmaster harsha asked the question of like why why should we say thank you and why should we say sorry and you had a response for that but he was not willing to accept it so you had to give examples now that's when your presence of mind stands out because you need to be able to speak on that spot that's the impromptu part that you get from having distractions in between so you thought on the spot you gave him examples and you responded aptly to his questions so good job on that that's exactly how you deal with that kind of questions in between uh toastmaster dinesh you were mentioning about how the speech was very emotional now when a person compliments you in between a speech you might feel happy and you might feel distracted also in between because as much as happy you get you might go off topic and you might be thinking in that moment but you were able to sail through that so good job on that aspect as well i loved how toastmaster when he just started you know like humming and he was taking attention from everyone and at one point the spotlight went from toastmaster vinodna to toastmaster when i but she was not le- willing to let go of that spotlight she brought it back she said come forward and sing if you're so confident and you will also get a chance to come forward and sing so i loved how you handled that situation it's it's not easy to talk to an audience when you have a lot of distractions coming in so kudos on that i also loved how toastmaster ganesh was just walking around randomly in between and you know at one point we all ignored him <laughs> but you know vinodna was like toastmaster ganesh what are you doing and then toastmaster ganesh was like i think i heard a knock i'm like no <laughs> there's no knock please sit down so that is actually 
I mean, it is fun to interact that way. You don't embarrass that person, but you let it off in a very light note. Now, if I'm giving you improvements on what you could have done better, the one thing that I would have said is like when Toastmaster Ganesh was walking around, it became like it became funny when you commented on that. Now, if it's a formal setting, now when we sit in our club, we know everyone here. It's very informal. It's sometimes our own friends, right? But if you're in a formal meeting and if someone is interrupting, you're walking out. You have to be a little bit more formal. So that's something that you can think about. And as much as I love your bubbly and your you know enthusiastic character, it might not suit all situations. Like I said, a formal situation or a formal gathering it will not suffice. So think how you can respond in those. perspective or in that kind of situation and try it out next time so that's my only suggestion and challenge amazing job well done toastmaster vinodna over to you toastmaster niharika that was a wonderful and detailed evaluation thank you toastmaster gopika speaker one toastmaster vinodna your title was so relatable and so perfect rewind you have opened your speech with questions wherein you have engaged the audience very well and your speech was relatable like most of us want to rewind our memories and most of us want to say thank you or sorry to someone in our life you did really great job in handling the audience kudos for that and you have a good vocabulary i always want to say that to you and coming to the improvements while you were delivering speech you were rushing when you are spelling some words wherein we lose some point of contact over there so try to work on that that's it and coming to the speech evaluator one toastmaster gopika i have nothing to add on to your evaluation it's completely unique and detailed and speech objectives were explained well and your evaluation was detailed and next i would like to call toastmaster vinay for evaluating toastmaster malika speech over to you toastmaster vinay Uh, Toastmaster Mallika, uh, your speech title "Life is Beautiful" justified your speech. Like it's very interesting title, and I like the way you involved everyone by asking a question so that they could respond. And while while telling your see back, I should see. Okay, uh, while telling us uh, your speech as it is offline. as it is offline uh, the way you expressed your story through your gestures and the way you uh, you have seen at the screen like the eye contact was very nice uh, and the way you started the story was very interesting and also uh, you have used some uh, words like no gain without pain like uh, those were very nice and the clarity that you maintained throughout your speech was good and it's a good speech and coming to you uh, uh, the feedbacks the that uh, i thought that uh, while you are delivering your speech uh, you were looking like uh, you you forgotten some lines and you are looking upside and you are looking somewhat down so that would be notice, noticeable for the audience that you are not uh, uh, remembering the story well so please look after it also uh, i would like to say that uh, you have taken 8 minutes 55 seconds which is over time so i suggest you to watch the timer cards so that you can uh, like accordingly change your speeches speeches time and reduce reduce the speech also uh, while you stay while you're saying story uh, uh, like while saying a story uh, tell the story in a gripping way so that the audience won't uh, go away from your from your speech um uh, like when you when you take some kind of pauses between the stories uh then the audience feels that okay she is like uh, taking some pause and they won't feel uh, attracted to the towards the story so please uh, note that and also uh, the time uh, for for the next time when you prepare your speech just try giving the speech to your friend or some other person 
so that uh, you can look off the time, like how much of time you are getting. Also, I would I would like to tell you that when are you speech, uh, prepare a speech, so that uh, if it is exe exceeding the time, just try to reduce the lines. Like if you are, if you are having some five to six lines, so reduce the lines and bring it shorter to three to four lines, so that the time won't exceed. And that's it for my side. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Vinay, for that good evaluation. Speaker two, Toastmaster Malika. Life is beautiful. As soon as I hear this title, I remember the movie Life is Beautiful. I'm so graceful that what what is there in speech in this speech? Okay, your speech was so like your expressions were graceful and your gestures were really good, and the way you have narrated this story. your voice and clarity in your words are superb and your story was also fine and conclusion as well and you are confident coming to the few suggestions which can take your speech to another level or as toastmaster vinay said uh, you can improve on your eye contact and as this is your second speech it's so common to stutter and to give long pauses try to work on that and have an eye contact and one more suggestion is you were narrating a story wherein you can add more expressions and lot of mystery like you can tell that like, there were three pots one of them as a potato and the other one as a coffee bean you can add expression so that you can grab the attention of the audience that's it and coming to the speech evaluator to toastmaster vinay you have explained the objectives very well and your evaluation was detailed and you have given a lot of improvements to your target speaker wherein she can improve coming to improvements you can give some challenge you have just mentioned it as improvements you can give as a challenge so that she'll take it as positive and she work on it next time wherein she'll give good input next i would like to call tag team for their First, I would like to call uh, our counter of the day, Toastmaster Harsha, to present his report. Over to you, Toastmaster Harsha. So, I'm sorry. Uh, first, I would like to call Toastmaster Durga for presenting her grammarian report. Over to you, Toastmaster Durga. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Niharika. and hey it's just because i'm not there you can't forget me it's so mean okay uh, so, so i do i am not going to give you a evaluation in one person per person i'm just going to give you common suggestions that we all make in a, a common uh, not so good uses that we all make in a meeting before that let me uh, go to points what work for us today there were very uh, good uses is like suffice active on linkedin and uh, this is a very common mistake that we all make we say active in linkedin because we are in that social network but it's actually active on in linkedin and i'm uh, happy that that was uh, you know done right and there was uses like graceful throughout the meeting there was really exciting and uh, really cool phrases now the good going to the suggestions this is something these are something that we all make throughout the meetings whenever we are speaking informally and formally like gopika said because this is a meeting where we are amongst our friends we have this habit of going into informal usages so i'm going to check that today the first thing is beginning a sentence with so uh so see when you do that what happens is that it's not that it's bad or it's not that it's not usable but it's something that we can change when we are speaking we can start the word or the start the letter or start the sentence with the sentence and not with so second thing is ending the sentence with ya and right for a non native speaker i think the ya and the right comes from our own subconscious mind saying that it's right like we want to check ourselves and say ourselves it's right 
So one thing you can do is that be confident in what you're speaking, know what you're speaking. So if you do that, you won't use the year and the right at the end. And uh, once again, since it's an informal setting and it's an informal group of people, when we're speaking to each other, using the word like sucks is fine. But in a setting, in a Toastmasters meeting, we can try to avoid it. The third thing that I want to talk about is dangling modifiers. Don't freak out. Dangling modifiers are things where you are talking about a sentence, but with not a subject. So when you say, the SIM card did not work, and I don't know how it did, it is the subject. But when you're cutting it there and saying, the SIM card did work in the other phone. I don't know how. So I don't know how is a phrase and there is no reference to a subject. This is something that we can all work upon. Once again, it's it's totally, uh, you know, it's totally normal for these things to come because you're an, uh, we're all a non-native speaker. And before I conclude, I want to appreciate Dinesh for using the word of the day and Malika for trying to use the idiom of the day. She tried, but she could not... Uh, get the bridge in it she said building so i am proud of that that is, that is it from my side over to the general evaluator toastmaster america thank you thank you toastmaster durga for that detailed evaluation next i would like to call our sleepy human toastmaster harsha for presenting his our counter report over to you toastmaster harsha Thank you for changing the evergreen introduction. <laughs> a very good morning to Toastmasters and my dear guests. Well, starting off with the our counters report, how many of you feel that you've improved from the last meeting in the usage of CRPFs? No one else? Well, trust me when I say this, as a club, we've improved a lot on the basis of CRPFs. Because right now, I don't look at a lot of CRPFs here. But as an R counter, I do have a few suggestions for you as always. First, let me go with the generalized suggestions. The first one would be taking an example from Vinutna's speech that we can apply in our speeches or while we are speaking. The word play. The word play is something which really makes our speeches really beautiful. And at the same time, the places where we use it matters a lot. If we use a lot of word play, people won't like it. And if you use word play at the right places, people will like it. And Toastmaster Vinodna used it in her speech and at places it was impromptu as well. Kudos to Toastmaster Vinodna. And next time when we are on the stage, let's try to make it happen. And next one is a bit of improvement, I would say. It's about changing the sentences in between. So right now I'm delivering a sentence and at the end I'm breaking it all of a sudden because I think it's wrong. And I'll start off with the next sentence. That's something we can improve upon as a speaker. So right now, when we are on the stage, next time when you're on the stage, remember that if you're taking up a sentence, if you're starting a sentence, complete that and go to the next sentence. If you think that it's wrong, take a little bit of pause, a one second or a two second pause, and then proceed to the next sentence. That will give a better essence. And of coming to the redundant usages that we always use. Sometimes you, we say things like I'm happy and elated. I'm annoyed and irritated. It makes the sentence very redundant. So when you're on the stage, I was annoyed. Use your delivery part there. I was annoyed. Stress on the annoyed part because you need not use the next word. It's redundant. It's the same meaning all over again. And of coming to one more improvement is etc. You see a nice emotional sentence and at the end you'll say etc. Not happening. The emotional connect will lose those, that emotional connect in that place. So try avoiding the uses of et cetera when you're on the stage and you're delivering a very emotional speech or a humorous one, whatever it is, et cetera, ruins the essence. And the last one is using the word now, moving on to, moving on with the meeting. These are the cliche phrases that we use and taking a speech to another level. These are the cliche phrases that we use in a Toastmasters meeting. So next time when you're on the stage, remember, let's try to get those cliche phrases out and get something new inside the meeting. And of coming to uh, the generalized report again, I would make it very generalized right now because I'm running out of time. So Toastmaster Govind um, and Toastmaster Gopika 
and Toastmaster Mahidur, Toastmaster Durga. You used and and Juno a lot of times. So make sure that uh, it just prolongs the sentences a lot. Make sure that you don't use and a lot of times because it just prolongs the sentences so much. And coming to the TTM Toastmaster Dinesh, use your suggestion, go with slow pace. And uh, come to table topic speakers. I really love the table topic session because the total table topic session had very less number of hours, ums and likes or whatever it is. All together, we had only very few of counts. So that's something we can be happy about. And coming to the speakers, Toastmaster Malika had one hour and two arms. And Toastmaster Venutna, you used you know a lot of times. That kind of takes away the essence from the emotional connect that you have with the audience. On the whole, I'm happy as an accounter. We did really good on the basis of CRPFs, but the uses of cliche phrases can get down and we can make the meetings even more lively. Thank you so much over to you, Toastmaster Niharika. Thank you, Toastmaster Harsha, for your wonderful evaluation. Next, we have our timer for the day, Toastmaster Mahidar. I would like to call Toastmaster Mahidar to present his timer report. Thank you, Toastmaster Niharika. And coming to my report, uh, coming to prepared speeches, Toastmaster Vinutna completed her speech within the time, I mean, uh, for the, uh, within the time of 12 minutes, 44 seconds. That's really nice usage of the time. And coming to Toastmaster Malika, you used uh, around eight minutes, 55 seconds. That is uh, a bit of over time. Uh, hope you better, I mean, you don't uh, repeat it in the next uh, upcoming speeches of yours. And coming to speech evaluations, I'm sorry that I couldn't calculate go, uh, your time, Gopika. I won't repeat that again. And coming to Toshmaster Vinay, he completed his, uh, his uh, evaluation within the time, and that is two minutes, 52 seconds. Coming to table topic sessions, and uh, Toshmaster Gopika used two minutes, 25 seconds, and that's OK. And uh, Toshmaster Harsha used two minutes, three seconds, and Toshmaster Govin used one minute, 10 seconds. That's within time, and, Tosh and myself, I used one minute, 11 seconds. And Toshmaster Vishnu completed his page within two minutes and two seconds. And Toshmaster Vinay completed his page uh, in one minute, 48 seconds. And coming to our guest, Raven, he used, uh, he completed just uh, his speech within the time that is 39 seconds. And Toshmaster Ganesh, he used one minute, 56 seconds. Yeah, that's a really nice usage of time. And coming to tag team, Toshmaster Hersha, uh, he used, uh, it was a bit over time uh, of your time. Uh, it was four minutes, 11 seconds. Hope you don't repeat in the, it in the next time. And coming to Toshmaster Durga, uh, you used th three minutes, 33 seconds, and that's within the time. That's, a, that's, that's, all, that's it from my side. And over to Niharika, Toastmaster Niharika. Thank you, Toastmaster Mahidar. Uh, it's second time you have took this role, but you did, you did really well. Coming to the overall evaluation, it's sad to say that most of the role takers has come late, around 10.15, but we are supposed to start the meeting by 10. So please do attend the meeting prayer, 15 minutes prayer, so that we can check their audio and video uh, audio. And if in case they are in virtual mode, we can check their video as well. We have started the meeting at 10.23, which is 23 minutes late. Our SIA Toastmaster Govind has started the meeting with nicely explaining the three golden rules. The only improvement that I would like to give you is you can connect these golden rules with the theme. Coming to the tag team report, timer for the day, Toastmaster Mahidar, you have really done very good job. You have explained the role very well. And I'm so bothered that this is the second time you are taking this role. And timer is a spontaneous role. I mean, overall roles. Timer is a role which needs a lot of spontaneity. And you did really well. Coming to the accounter, Toastmaster Harsha, you explained all fillers, crutch words, and all categories of words very well. And coming to the add-ons that I would like to give you is, you can give some, you can give some alternatives wherein we can fill that crutch words and some 
tips as you are so experienced in this tab i would like to get it from you from next time coming to the grammarian for the day toastmaster durga i like the way she introduced the word of the day and idiom of the day and the word of the day and idiom of the day are completely relatable to the theme and your evaluation was also fine and precise as well only suggestion that i would like to give any grammarian is to post the word of the day and idiom of the day in whatsapp group priorly so that most of us will include that in our speech or script anything it might be and keep track of the time like most of the role takers keep track of the time and prepare your evaluation so that you won't overshoot the time coming to the table topic master toast master dinesh i was so wondered that you were so bothered about each and every tag team my tag team like you were mentioning uh, to make the job of grammar and easy use these words to make the job of our counter and that's a unique way of introduction kudos for that and your introduction was energetic and innovative looking forward to uh, such innovative introduction yeah on and all uh, table topics speakers was really well and i didn't expect that much spontaneity and kind of thing yeah that's it from my side over to the presiding officer thank you so much to smarth niharika Now, before you know, like I hand over again to the TM Modi. Uh, to are you done? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought maybe he has something to conclude on. <laughs> so basically, like when we talk about connections, I feel that the best part of connections is meeting tab members. And I was I joined tab online, and I never got to see any of you in person. and right now when you know it's not just for the meeting when we go out when we hang out when we go to eat or we just we when we just go out for something or the other it feels nice it's good to meet people it's it's good that we are all toastmasters but other than that it's great that we can all be friends and spend time together so with that being said toastmaster niharika has already sent out the voting link so please make your votes in the meanwhile does anyone want to say anything about today's meeting um do you like to say something would you like to say something about the meeting yeah it's nice in interactive session with all the members thank you for having me here Thank you so much. I hope we can see you again in another meeting. Yeah. Does anyone else even the members of the club want to say anything about today's meeting? Maybe something about connections? Okay, okay. Tosma sir has something to say? Okay, this is more of a promotion. So <laughs> when the theme connections came into my mind yesterday gopika told me something that it was about coronation coronation is coming up on may 22nd 28th and 29th so i'm one of the program chairs and there are a lot of tap people in the coronation uh, it's going to be in between ncms but i think we can spare some amount of time on the weekends during like for two hours maybe so be there for coronation and trust me you'll have a very wonderful experience because the speakers are international speakers and at the same time uh, the district contest will be going on the table topics evaluation isc on the respective dates 22nd 28th and 29th so be there for coronation it's about celebrating the connections you know the first thing i asked uh, harsha like toastmaster harsha when toastmaster ganesh put out the theme was like do you have any influence on this theme i thought it was because you know like ganesh might have been influenced by the coronation tagline celebrating connections maybe but uh, toastmaster asha was like no 
uh, no there's no connection with that but yeah the conference is really fun uh, if you have been before uh, you know get to know that you get to see a lot of like amazing speakers come forward different personalities um different walks of life some are actors some might be uh, bloggers some might be public speakers you get to meet a lot of people in the conference as well as uh, there will be games there will be a lot of events happening the contest will anyway be happening the district contest is happening but other than that uh, coronation is a fun place to be if you know like you're willing to sit and listen and you know put in an effort to learn something new so it's also a place where you can connect with people so again celebrating connections <laughs> yeah it's online so harsha is that enough promotion in the meanwhile does anyone have anything else to say anyone want to say anything about the meeting about anything else in general no nothing okay uh, niharika other results out members online did you guys vote durga did you vote yes ma'am malika did you vote yes i did okay so i'm hoping everyone voted here also what so we'll go forward with the results the best speaker for the day is toastmaster vinodna okay taking everyone by storm the best table topic speaker is toastmaster harsha the best of tag is the account of the day toastmaster harsha uh the best speech evaluator is unfortunately it's me <laughs> and the best of big four is of course the person who made us speechless and it's the table top master toastmaster dinesh toastmaster dinesh i want to you know like uh, i want to congratulate you because you know what at this point of time everyone is willing to take up a table topic even though they're changing up the topic so you should feel happy you should be proud <laughs> okay so it's great seeing you all again in a meeting and i know this meeting was a bit short notice uh, but the fact that you know on a saturday morning every time you know i say this every time but the fact that you guys are willing to come and you know sit through and there are people sitting online also durga is sitting far at home but she's still here look at that face <laughs> so we miss you durga <laughs> now malika is also there and it's great to have all of you guys here and at one point i will also be sitting on the other side of the screen just like durga no tears please no emotions but yeah it's bound to happen oh <laughs> but thank you so much guys it's a good morning and i am closing meeting themed connections 163 the stage is open for informal talk <laughs>